Hi. Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to give you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of April 6th to April 12th. Uh, as you know, I did a three card reading for, for this week and next week I want to go back to the seven card because I did get some positive feedback. Uh, both ways people liked it. But what I really did find was they liked that additional Angel Oracle card that I put at the end of the spread. So I have added an addition to that and I'm going to use the Angel Oracle card at the end. So we're going to begin the week with the page of air. And this is around uh, Monday, Tuesday type of thing. And it's telling me that you're getting, uh, you're dealing with some challenging information and that uh, whatever this is about, um, there's going to be some delays to this, uh, to these plans and um, to expect this. And also someone's going to be delivering you a message um, and it's going to be a message of truth. But they're not going to be very tactful about it. And they're not very good at delivering this type of thing. And they're a little abrasive. So I want you to remember, as we say, don't attack the messenger. Just listen to the message that's coming into you. And it will be a message of truthfulness. Now, on Tuesday, you've been given the four of air. And the four of air is all about um, you needing some rest. You've been working so hard and you've been so busy, uh, whatever it is for some of you that you've been involved in, whether it's your work, your personal life, some organization, some charity work, uh, whatever, you've been really, really busy. And to the point where they're saying that you need to take and contemplate uh, having a vacation. Sometimes for those that don't have the resources uh, to actually or the time to take a physical vacation, often it's beneficial to us and uh, to... to find that release and uh, get our rest that we need and the pleasure of that like a vacation is to meditate and meditation can take you anywhere you want to go absolutely and uh, and by all means when you do it we all know that we go to that place that we find very special so um, it's about you taking care of yourself right now and um, taking care of your needs and realize that you need to rest a little now, on Wednesday, you've been given a fire card, and this is the Ace of Fire, and this is telling me about something that's about to happen in your life, and it's going to be a new and almost exciting opportunity, and it's going to be to do, it's going to have to do with your career, because they're telling me it's actually going to be an advancement where you're working. You're, you're, for some of you, you're going to get this recognition, and you're going to have an advancement with your job, and also, um, for some of you, it's, um, it's a change. It's going to be, um, a change in your life right now, completely different, and, uh, and that's a good thing. So, advancement, is the key word. This is for Thursday. You've been given an Earth card and it is the Eight of Earth. And Earth cards, as I tell you and I have mentioned before, has to do with our jobs and how we make a living in the material part of our world. Um, this one is telling me that um, you're having some worry about money and uh, it's troubling you. And uh, they're saying that you need to, if you're having difficulty, go to people who can help you with this. And often they're people and accept their wisdom. It may be a banker. You might be going through a loan right now. It may be a mortgage company. You're renewing a mortgage or perhaps uh, getting a mortgage um, or finding a way to meet your, to meet, uh, make your ends meet at the end of the month. Um, for some of you, um, you either are in self-employment or contemplating self-employment and you're feeling very uncertain about that right now. And if it's a new uh, position, if it's a new business, always remember that depending on the type of business it is, of course, it takes time. It takes time for these businesses to get off the ground and actually start bringing in that, the benefits of, uh, of money and, and, the, and, um, and the abundance to come in. So um, I know that you guys are, uh, are worrying about this. So this card is giving you a heads up to ask advice from people who are wise in that department. On Friday, you've been given a major card. And this card is a release card. And this is saying basically it's time for you to move on. So whatever situation you're in, whether it's your work, whether it's a relationship you're in, whether it's a friendship you're in, uh, any situation like that, 
it's time for you to move on. And it's the end of a phase or a situation. And for you moving moving on from this situation, it's almost going to be like a spiritual thing for you. On Saturday, you've been given a major card. And this card is the sun. And this card is a fantastic card. Just think of the sun. We all get happy when the sun comes out and shines. It's all about um, happy, a happy outcome to, to something that you've been dealing with. And um, it, it's, it's, it's a brilliant new ideas that lead us to success. And that you're supposed to have confidence in this. Have confidence in yourself, okay? Anything that you've been trying to do right now, whether it's something new, whether it has to do with your job, whether you've come up with a wonderful idea for a project, this is saying that have confidence in yourself. Um, it's a wonderful time for you. And you are exceed, ex succeeding in ways that you never dreamed you could do. And um, you're going to be blessed with that success and abundance that's going to come into you over this situation. And also, um, you know that they're telling me that whatever this is, this 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 brilliant new ideas that are coming these brilliant new ideas that are coming into you that uh, it you are on the right path okay now on Sunday the end of the week you've been given another water card and this water card is uh, the six of water and this is telling me that you are sitting there uh, with yourself at times in your daydreaming and you're thinking about memories the memories of your childhood perhaps perhaps it was a friend that you've known for a very long time and you're thinking of that person um, also uh, you're romanticizing about the past perhaps it was a, a past lover a past partner a past relationship so it's telling me that you are thinking these things right now and some of you may be thinking about children and this issue could be regarding children that you're thinking of now after this spread I told you that I had uh, an, uh, an angel oracle card to add to this reading and this card came up and this is the acceptance card and this card tells me that um, you need to see yourself through the eyes of others that often we don't appreciate who we are or have the confidence to believe that we are uh, capable of doing things and uh, and we all do and we need to sit back and 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 other people are constantly perhaps giving you compliments and encouragement but you still deep down inside you never really can accept this and um, you need to know that you can that's what this acceptance card is so before we can learn to love someone else we have to love ourselves and like who we are when we look in the mirror I don't mean physical I mean uh, spiritual and emotional so this was a great card for you and know that a uh, Virgo that you are acceptable and you need to accept yourself. I hope that this reading was uh, of a benefit to you this week and you enjoyed it. And keep in mind that it is a general reading. And um, for some of you, a lot of this will happen this week for you. And others, not quite as many. But there will be a card in there for those days that will definitely be dead on. If you ever want to have a private reading with me and we can go into this uh, and delve into any issues that you want to discuss and questions you want to ask me, feel free to contact contact me at my website and it is www.brenda tarot spelled t-a-r-o dot info i hope i see you soon i hope you have a wonderful remainder to today and a fantastic week and i want you to know i stand in the circle of light for you